but uh, I'm going to go through this just one more time, this for loop. What it does, it first sets i to zero, and i is just a nickname for something that we want to hold numbers. And then it says, while i is less than 30, do whatever's inside these, these braces that we're about to type. And then after whatever's inside these braces, braces is completed, it's going to look here at the end, and it's uh, I++ plus plus means increase I by 1. So after this loop is done, it goes up here, it increases it by 1, and it goes back to this middle part and asks again, is I less than 30? So is 1 less than 30? Yes, so it repeats this, and it goes back up, then it goes 2, 3, 4, 5, until it eventually reaches 30. So that's what a for loop does. So essentially we're, we're going through this thing about 30 times. So regardless, with all that talking uh, coming to an end, we're now going to go ahead and put in the code within that for loop that's going to launch the, art, the artillery. So first type uh, delay, and then we're going to do, say, uh, 35, just type 35, do a semicolon, and then do thing underscore project projectile do a parenthesis and this is where you have to put in a few different arguments what an argument is is it determines what the script does and what types of things it creates the first thing is the the uh, thing ID number and this is where we're going to make it random anywhere from 1 to 10 so all you have to do here is type random parenthesis and then it shows you right here the first number is the lowest value so that'll be one and then do a comma then the second number is a is the highest value so that's going to be 10 so we'll type 10 and then do a closing parenthesis type comma and then it shows the next thing we need to, to determine is the type of projectile now it's tough to remember all of these numbers because there are special ID numbers for each projectile in the game but the easy way to do this is go to Google search for ZDoom ACS and once you search for this go to the very first result here and this is a wiki specifically for programming uh, within ZDoom and you can go right here over to the left and you can go to uh, ACS functions right here and then let's scroll down and let's go to let's try just go to thing projectile and uh, let's see Here we go, think projectile, and then click this link right here that says spawn numbers. And then go to doom spawn numbers, and this takes you to, to this page where all of these numbers right here correspond with whatever's to the left of it. Now in this case, because we're creating artillery, I want this to spawn a bunch of rockets that fall down to the, to the ground and kill whatever's below. So I'm going to look for rocket and... Right there it is, T underscore rocket. And because it has the number 127, that's the number I'm going to keep in mind. So we're going to go back to ZDoom. And let's let's type 127 here. And then do a comma. An angle, you don't have to worry about it. Just type 0, comma, speed. This is the horizontal speed, and we don't want it to go forwards or backwards. We just want it to fall straight down. So we're going to give this a speed of 0. And then vertical speed, this is uh, the, what we want to change. So if you put a positive value in, that makes it go upwards. So if we want it to go downwards, we're going to give it an, a negative number. So I'm going to make it like negative 100. So that means it falls downwards at a speed of 100. And then now that we've, uh, as you can see here, it tells me that vertical speed is the last argument we need to put in. So do a closing parenthesis, do a semicolon, and... Uh, while I'm mentioning that, always remember to put a semicolon at the end of each line of code like this, unless it's like a brace. And this is pretty much all the code that we need here. So just one more time, I'm going to go through all this code. What this does is it first prints the message that the artillery is requested. It then waits for just a couple seconds. And then after waiting, it goes into our loop here, which due to the for loop this happens about 30 times then it what it does is in between each artillery it has a short delay and then it fires off another piece of artillery and the artillery is going to be fired at 
a random position between 1 and 10. And remember, this happens 30 times, so at least one of those positions is going to be targeted twice or more within the span of this. And this is going to be a rocket that's being fired downwards at a speed of negative 100. So it's going to fall to the ground at 100 speed, pretty much. So, uh, and that's that's pretty much the code. It's not a whole lot of code there. I know it's tough sometimes if you're if you're not used to this stuff. It's tough to get used to the syntax, like the for loops and all this. But the more you practice, the easier it'll get. And uh, now that you've done all the code, go up here and click this little scroll uh, icon with the lightning bolt, and it'll tell you right here that the script is compiled without errors. Then all you got to do is click X. And the very last step is to create a switch that we're going to flip to trigger the script. So I'm just going to make a switch here. The switches are, I think, 64. The textures are 64 in length. So I'm going to make sure this is 64 here on each side. And, yeah, that'll be okay. So I'm just going to raise it up. This is very simple stuff here. Just a real simple switch. Just give it a normal, uh, ah, heck, I don't even care. I'll just give it this, I'll give it this texture. And I'm, I'm not even going to bother with the lining it or anything. Because what we have right now will suffice. And yeah, this is pretty much all we need to do. And then the very last step to create this map is go to the switch, the front of the switch you want to activate right click it and because this works a little bit differently than regular doom mapping you'll first want to change trigger from a uh, player walks over to player presses use you want the player to flip it not to walk over a line anywhere and then you also want to go up here and check uh never mind you don't have to do this just scratch that uh, all you got to do here is just go to where it says action and you can type eight zero and this is what this does is this tells it to execute a script and then we're going to type one within the script number because remember that the script that we created uh, was the very first one so it obviously has the number of one and then just click OK so what happens is we flip this switch once that switch is flipped it calls this script right here that I'm highlighting and that causes the artillery to be fired so Let's go ahead and hop right into the game and let's see what the artillery does.